In this video, we're gonna focus on some of my favorite shortcuts in Microsoft Teams to help you move around and feel more productive and comfortable in the application. Now I'm gonna showcase these shortcuts on a Windows machine using control commands, but these shortcuts also work on Mac iOS computers using the command button instead. So keep that in mind as we move through the demonstration. Now let's dive into some of our shortcuts. Now did you know that you can customize this navigation pane? Just click and drag the different application views into any order of your choosing. And do you often leverage other apps through the ellipsis? You can right click on them and pin them onto the navigation pane as well. Now, when it comes to shortcuts, each position on the navigation pane is assigned a position number. And one of my favorite shortcuts is using control plus that position number to jump into the different areas of Teams quickly. So for example, I can jump into my chats by selecting control two, because that's the second position on my navigation pane. Now, another one of my favorite shortcuts is using the search and command bar to begin phone calls. Now, first, if you do control E, that's gonna pop you into the command bar without having to touch your mouse. Now I'll just type forward slash call and I'll hit enter and now type in the name of an internal colleague or guest that I wanna connect with. And once they're found, I can hit enter again or select them with my mouse and it will begin an audio call to that user. Now in the world of Microsoft, most people know that in Outlook, you can select control N to start a brand new email. But many people don't know that in Microsoft Teams, no matter where you are in the application, you can use control N to start a new chat message. If you needed to switch your presence quickly in Teams, you can also do that through the search and command bar and you can type forward slash and then the name of the presence to update it quickly. Uh, for example, forward slash DND is not forward slash Dungeons and Dragons, a new game will not start. It will instead put you in do not disturb mode so that others can't interrupt you while you're working. Now, often when people are working in Teams, they sometimes get frustrated if they're working on something and one of their chat keeps going off and they find themselves jumping between a document they're working on and a chat. Something that can help you from jumping back and forth too much and in and out of the different views is to pop out those chattier chats so that they are on their own independent window and you can access them without having to move around too much. Also, if you do find yourself navigating away from a document that you're working on, you can go back to your search bar and from this files tab, you can access some of the work items that you have been accessing and working on recently. Another tool that a lot of people don't know about in Teams because it is hidden in an ellipsis, when you're in a specific channel or a specific chat, you can select the ellipsis and choose find in and now you can type some keywords to locate a specific conversation that you were having either within this channel or within a chat. Lastly, in meetings, use control shift M if you need to mute and unmute your microphone throughout the meeting. Now, when it does come to mute and unmute, I do like to warn people, if you have manually selected the mute or unmute button, your space bar is also gonna allow you to mute and unmute that microphone if the mute button was the last thing you clicked on in the meeting. So just a small warning, be very careful. Always look at this icon. Make sure it has that cross out before you speak aloud or maybe yawn very loudly while you are in an in-progress meeting. Uh, two other shortcuts to let you know about control plus shift and E is going to allow you to open your share tray and begin sharing either your screen or content really quickly or control shift K is going to let you raise your hand or if it's already up, it will help you lower your hand. And there you have it, some of my favorite shortcuts in Microsoft Teams. Hopefully these are gonna help you become more comfortable and get more efficient when it comes to navigating around the Microsoft Teams application.